I'm supposed to unbox this Batman, but uh, I'm probably gonna do it later. So, I'm gonna do this one first. Guys, later Batman. <laughs> what is going on everyone? How's it going my fellow collectors? This is Regan and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we are going to unbox this newly released figure of Hot Toys. This is none other than Star Wars Covenant from the Mandalorian TV series. TMS 08416 scale collectible figure and before I start if you are new here to our channel please consider to subscribe and hit the like button and press the notification bell as well if you want to get notified once I upload a new video especially hot toys okay without further ado let's dive in oh my goodness we're sure a lot of uh, Star Wars collectors out there or Mandalorian uh, fans are really excited to um, you know to have this or to see this one I mean the final product so here we go so let's open it right so this is the art box of course the standard art box for Star Wars figures of hot toys black box of course very straightforward the picture of the figure right there looks really good and of course the Mandalorian badge right here some nice photo also here and uh, this one on the side uh, the other look of Cobb Band without his armor and of course the back the common warnings and some description okay so let's take it out the figure I'm really excited to see this one. Oh my goodness that is absolutely fantastic look at that guys nice backdrop as well some scene from the TV series right looks really good nice pose I'd say Okay, I'm gonna put this one on the side. There you go. So this is the packaging. I'd say pretty neat, right? So let me take it out and uh, show you guys first the instruction sheet. There you go. So this is the instruction sheet. Let me do some close-ups. There you go. Looks a lot, but uh, yeah, not much actually. There you go, but don't forget to check this out because probably some parts there that uh, you're not really familiar so don't forget to check this out okay and of course I'm gonna okay so we got the first packaging tray right here on the top there you go so we got the I'm not sure what this is like missiles the something like a real like thruster effect two pieces of fire thruster effect as well and some bottle right here and four pieces of gloved hands the details and the uh, weathering oh, looks really good right nice details and the hands is actually quite small right right but I really love the details and some weathering the paint job absolutely fantastic okay there you go so later we're gonna play around with that one right here so we got two pieces of extra joint and some buttons right here okay, right so this is the pistol blaster right here I'd say it looks really nice especially the weathering effects and the paint job absolutely incredible right see made out of plastic material and yeah really like the design of this one looks pretty accurate right and it's um, uh, kind of like you could hook it to uh, to his belt probably okay and then this one right here we got his blaster rifle absolutely beautiful as well look at those details in the paint job right some nice weathering effects right there right some kind of like a sand like you know some dust and then of course uh, some straps right here some bandage look right looks really nice uh, but it's actually made out of uh, plastic so it's not like a fabric material movable parts nah yeah really nice design as well right this one looks good so this is his weapon right here okay love this one moving on to the let me get this jetpack right here and then right here we got the jetpack of Boba Fett right here really nice details I think it's pretty much the same with the uh, you know, original one but anyway yeah looks really good love the details and weathering effects nice paint job as well okay nice so movable parts probably this one mm, yes there you go. Oh, we could rotate this one. That's it. 
first the head sculpt of Cobant right here. Look at that, guys. Wow, looks really good, huh? I mean, not bad, right? Kind of like, kind of like accurate, you know? I mean, like, uh, looks really good, okay? But uh, the paint job is quite soft, so... Yeah, let's see. Um, we're gonna review this one later, and of course, the figure right here. Oh my goodness. This is beautiful, guys. All right, so here we go. So I already removed those plastics and but still have some you know, foams, protective foams right there. Also here on the wrist. Wow, that's a lot. Gosh, amazing. Nice details on the pants and patterns. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, there you go. And of course, let's take it out. Base, the kind of like a diorama base right here. This one looks really good, right? Love this one and this one as well. And it's quite big. I mean, like, not the usual, not the standard uh, base for Star Wars figures, right? Yes. Wow, this looks really cool, right? I love this one. <laughs> this is nice. I mean, at least he has some, um, you know, uh, spot. You know, if once you display him, you're gonna have, uh, you know, I mean, like, you, he's gonna, I mean, he's gonna stand out, you know, once you displayed him, right? I'm gonna put this one here. Of course, the common uh, crutch holder. I love this one, huh? This one looks like a real wood to me. Love the texture. There you go. Wow. Okay, nice nameplate as well. Of course, that's the, that's the standard one. But I really like this one, guys. Love the weathering, the paint job, and details. Absolutely incredible, guys. Love the texture, huh? nice. There you go. I think that's it. All right, so I'm put this one on the side. The accessories. All right, so I'm gonna test the articulations of this one. Uh, the head looks pretty tight, but uh, yeah, it's not aligned in the center. <laughs> there you go. Okay, so that's how it looks like. Uh, yeah, it's pretty tight. At least it's not loose. That's quite weird, right? You're going to move the head uh, with the helmet on. I think, yes. Okay. Hmm, yeah, that's a lot of space underneath of the helmet. So anyway, so this one also movable. Okay, so I think it's pretty fine. Let me, actually, let me remove this one. Let me change the head. But this is, is probably gonna be hard to detach. Oh, not bad. At least it's easy. I think you have to insert first his scarf before putting it to the body. Yeah, I think that's better. There you go. So anyway, moving on to the arms. There you go. I think above, like almost like 90 degrees, you know. But this one is quite loose. I mean, not really staying there, you know, on that level. And then twist the front. So this one has some um, extra armor on the top. So we might not gonna get that uh, at least 90 degrees here. Yeah, looks good. Same. To the back. At least pretty tight, you know. There you go. Okay, and then swivel right here. Oops, yeah, swivel. Yeah, actually, I love the you know the tightness of the joints. Looks good. You could be able to do some nice dynamic poses on this one. Ooh, nice elbows, double jointed. That is absolutely amazing, guys. And then swivel again. You could turn out that one. Squeeze it to the front a little bit because it has some armor right here. Okay. Yeah, love the, actually I really love the you know the articulations on the arms. Pretty tight, especially on the elbows as well. The wrist, of course, is standard one, which is uh, for me, nah, not good. I mean, like you know, it's always like again, it's always loose. You know, 
I mean, now it's okay, but then later, once you attach those uh, weapons, and of course, once you move the gauntlet, then it's gonna somehow like fall, and uh, it's gonna, you know, take out easily. I think it's fine. Okay. And then moving on to the upper body, let's do this one. Twist. Perfect. Actually, it's not the body, right? It looks like just the armor moving onto the side. Yeah, it's kind of like that. But I think, yeah, it looks good, right? Nice. And the crunch in. Yeah, not bad. Arch. I'd say not bad, guys. See? We could move uh, easily the upper body. You know, so the waistline. Moving on to the legs. Open. Pretty tight uh, because of the pants. I think it's fine. At least 90 degrees. You know, once you raise the leg to the front. But to the back, no, it doesn't have. Other side, yes. Looks good. And to the back, nah. Okay, swivel, of course. There you go, knees. Ooh, ratchet joints. <laughs> Shoot, I thought I broke it already. Anyway, wow, nice. Nice sounds, <laughs> right? And of course, the um, ankle joint. Nice. Actually, looks good, huh? See, all the angles. We could uh, do some... Uh, side as well front point or like flex twist wow okay there you go nice actually it looks great love the articulation guys i mean like you're gonna love this one too as well anyway moving on to the actually actually just wanna attach those uh wait let me let me show you guys those movable parts this one has some velcro this sign right there so you could detach those armor a detachable this one is detachable as well i believe um but uh, wait let me uh attach before i remove this one i want to attach this one first there you go i think it's pretty strong right not bad let me try those thruster or fire thruster effect there you go Wow, that's really tight. Huh? <laughs> this one is the missile thruster effect. So if you're going to use this one, something like this. There you go. But not that really this. Yeah, you have to really push it all the way down. And it's pretty tight. Huh? <laughs> wow. Wow, you really have to use some force. Nice. <laughs> there you go. Okay, so that's how it looks like. And I think that's it. You know, for this one. So at least we have an idea. And again, the magnet. I think it's pretty decent, you know. And then, the pistol. There you go. All the way down. Okay. Looks good. And then what else? Of course, this wall we're gonna attach it to his hands. The hands, I think, looks good. I mean, like, uh, looks decent to me. I mean, it's not uh, tight, I'd say. Yeah, it's pretty soft. You know, it's very easy to attach. See, that is very, very easy to you know attach uh, the hand, the handle to the hand. So there you go. Nice, amazing. And then, of course, the other hand holding the weapon as well. Okay. Okay, I think that's it, you know, for the accessories. Again, let's continue the movable parts. Let me remove this one again. At least you guys have an idea. Just do it slowly because it's still fragile, you know. I think we have to remove first the gauntlet. There you go. This is also detachable. But let me. Yeah, so you're just gonna shoot it to the back head. Okay, so you could detach this one up to the front part. And there you go. Okay, I think the body, uh, in my opinion, looks uh, proportion, right? just maybe this part some parts like kind of like you know like too sharp but i think it's fine right see there you go 
And I think the belt is also detachable. Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> it has some Velcro design right here. There you go. So if you want to detach the whole thing, I mean like the belt, I think you could be able to do that. And uh, of course the pants. Okay, I love the quality of the shirt. I mean like the inner is kind of like a suit. Looks really good. I huh? love the color. The quality nice right very nice I love this one huh? and again also the pants absolutely amazing guys oh you could also move this one as well you know those uh, bullets as well for the rifle and yeah again the pants absolutely incredible guys I love the details those distress effects uh those weathering those dirt effect the patches absolutely beautiful guys i mean look at that oh my goodness this is really nice especially the details here oh, in the packet right amazing this one is made out of plastic material look but looks like a leather to me and then also here on the other side uh this one as well it looks really good guys i love the pants i mean i love his pants i mean oh my goodness you're gonna love this one guys wow i mean like i didn't expect that kind of you know like like so much details you know that really had toys create something like noticeable you know it's not just like a normal like you know uh patches like very simple but this one you could really notice which is i think at uh, Probably, yeah, probably like uh, like 100% accurate, you know, but not 100% accurate for the materials, but then, you know, maybe the patterns, you know, those details, probably the same, you know, in the TV series. So, yeah, absolutely amazing, guys. The tailoring, you know, those stitches, wow, that is amazing, guys. Of course, this one's uh, also detachable as well. You could remove this one, uh, yeah, because that's still part of uh, Bobo Pet's armor. And then this one, the the boots, the boots cover. I think it looks good as well. Look at that. It looks like a pleather material, but it's actually like plastic material. And it's quite soft. Yeah, it looks really good. Love the paint job, the color. That looks like a real leather, right? See? That is amazing. And of course, the details on the shoes as well is very clean guys wow that is absolutely fantastic the weathering the paint apps oh my goodness that is amazing okay right that's it it looks really nice guys i love this one you should really buy this one guys believe me okay i think that's it right and uh, of course i get the jetpack also amazing you know those gauntlets amazing as well especially those weathering effects right yeah this one is probably not detachable yeah okay i think that's it right goodness this is really really nice guys and we could actually display this one for me i prefer not to you know i prefer to use this uh look you know if i'm going to display it i think it's uh it's more of uh like more of him like you know because of course that one is for boba fett you know i mean if, of course if you're going to display a uh, boba fett figure then uh how do you call it it's gonna somehow like uh, contrast the look right like you don't know who, who is boba fett but for me yeah you could also wear like for some pictures like yeah you could also wear this one to uh covet but uh for me if you go to display together with the Bubble Fett, I prefer this one, you know, this look. Okay. So, and the belt actually looks like a real leather to me. Uh. See? Right? It looks like a real leather. Great job, Hot Toys. Right? So it doesn't look like a pleather to me. It looks really good. And also the helmet. I think it looks great as well. Especially the details. Those scuffing and yeah, those weathering absolutely beautiful, guys. Love the details of this one. It's probably pretty much the same with the original one, you know. Uh, that's why I really need to, I think, I really need to compare that. Uh, I need to do some extra video for that just for the comparison of these two armor uh, with the original Boba Fett and then 
this one as well but the inner looks good as well but it's just that it has some i think a little bit uh, different uh, look or colors probably from the original one maybe maybe not okay, it looks different eh? just that but then you know overall still looks great you know and last but not the least is the head scope i'd say absolutely incredible i forgot to mention the joint uh, earlier you know this one is very very tight you know just like uh, with the helmet on yeah it's actually pretty tight so if you're going to do some you know articulations in the head i think it looks really good you could be able to do some dynamic poses on this one and again the likeness to the actor i think uh, for me uh, in my honest opinion uh, probably around 90 to 95 percent you know uh, because i could still see that there's still some angle or shape you know features of on his face like kind of like uh, it's still not it doesn't look like him you know but you know the overall look you know um i think it looks like it looks spot on you know from afar and yeah but it's just it, probably for me maybe the quality of the paint is not as strong as the usual one you know i think for me it's a little bit soft you know especially the texture but the skin tone i think it looks good um the details on the you know the mustache the beard i think it looks great the hair sculpt especially this one right here looks really good right right at the back right there yeah i think overall i think it's pretty decent i mean it's not really bad i mean i think it's still strong you know um if you're going to ask me the likeness to the actor i think it looks great right yeah okay amazing see it's just that maybe not 100 percent for me in my honest opinion not 100 percent accurate you know but you know overall i think uh it's, you're still gonna love this one you know wow uh, for me like i'm still gonna use the head scope you know i'm not gonna put that you know helmet once i display it to my uh star wars collection i mean together with other uh, mandalorian uh, line so yeah i think that's it that's all i could say about the head scops so don't miss on this one yeah for this one the magnet i think it's pretty strong so you can see right there some velcro and then of course the magnet right there i think yeah it's pretty decent right there you go i think overall looks great especially the base right i love the base as well so if i'm going to stand him oh my goodness you're gonna love this one guys oh my gosh see that base wow it gives more presence to the figure oh my gosh okay anyway i think that's it so so my final thoughts on this cob band figure i'd say it is a beautiful piece a great looking figure definitely a must-have figure if you are collecting the mandolar line of hot toys or if you're into one six of you know uh star wars or if you like this character you will definitely gonna love this one however there's still some flaws that you're not gonna like it of course the head scope is not 100 percent accurate but you know in my honest opinion in my personal opinion still absolutely beautiful i think it still looks great from afar i think the the resemblance the likeness to Coban it's still there but the overall look actually of this figure is absolutely incredible guys so you're gonna love this one especially the articulations the range of motion like wow you're gonna love this one guys and then the details and everything you know like fantastic so great job hot toys for making this one you know for make for making this cob band figure okay so i think that's about it guys that's all i could say and let me know your thoughts on this figure as well feel free to comment down below and if you like this video if you, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't yet and I also have some Star Wars figures that I unbox and review. Click the link down below and I'll see you on the other side.